Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry for the uh, the delayed video release here. Um, it's a big day today. Uh, I finally got a um, package of the Beyond Beef, so I'm gonna do some things with that. I think I'm gonna make a burger. Um, try to make one of these smash burgers, which I don't think I'm a fan of, but whatever. It seems to be the thing right now. We'll try it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna cook those up and see how they are. It's a uh, kind of dark and gloomy day here in Newark, Delaware, so we'll probably be cooking on the Foreman Grill or the skillet. Um, but that's going to be fun. Uh, right now I'm actually heading to a float tank um, for the first time, so that's going to be interesting. I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, so I've always wanted to try one of these float tanks, but I um, never really thought it was worth it. found this decent Groupon, um, and it was my birthday yesterday, so we'll call this a birthday present um, that my wife technically got me. <laughs> so we're heading up there now. Uh, <laughs> driving in my Tesla to go to a float tank, then eating my plant-based burgers afterwards. Sure as hell sound like a hippie, huh? <laughs> oh well. Um, cool. So let's go ahead and head out there, and I will see you in a little bit, and we'll start cooking some burgers. So I guess while we're on our way to Spire Wellness for this float tank, um, I guess I can show you a little few things about the car on the inside. Um, I put a wrap on the center console. Uh, came out better than I expected when I finished it. Still got some rough edges to it, but enough for me to live with. Um, this car is amazing. I love it. Um, the, the roof, as you always see in the videos, is glass. It's amazing. Um, obviously, I think the best part of the car is the autopilot. Um, no hand stops at the lights. It's, well, if a car's in front of me. Um, it's great. The interior is beautiful. I'm a little dirty right now. Thanks, kids. Um, the sound system is absurd. I'd play it, but copyright. Um, everything's pretty great with it. I've had a few cosmetic issues. Uh, the paint, mostly, which... I'm sure a lot of people are aware it's kind of an issue with Tesla's, but um, overall it's been a great car. Um, it's fun. It is very minimal. I think it's great. Mm, car's driving by itself again, taking off the light. I, I, uh, pretty happy with my purchase. I will say this is the long range all wheel drive. Um, I've seen a lot of these stealth performance ones. I'm a little jealous. Wish I would have gotten one of those, but um, oh well. <laughs> I'm not disappointed with this one. All right, well, I just got done the float tank, did an hour session. Um, definitely interesting. Didn't get any of the, the hallucinations or psychedelic effects that I, I briefly read about, but it was definitely neat. It was basically like the most comfortable bed um, I've ever had, being that it's, it was 10.30 in the morning. It wasn't really ideal for, for a nap, <laughs> so I didn't fall asleep, but it was super comfortable, and um, I don't know, might do it again, undecided, but... It was it was pretty good uh, good experience I guess. So back home to start cooking. Okay, we did it. Fresh back from the float tank, ready to make some burgers. We have the Beyond Beef. Finally, I was trying to get this a while ago. It's been sold out. It's pretty hard to get um, to get. So let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple burgers. Gonna make a normal burger. Gonna attempt a smash burger. Never did that before. Need a smash it. I'm assuming that's all it really is. Um, but I really wanted to check out like the consistency, how it's different than normal beef. Um, to be honest, too, I don't really use eat beef itself all that much. Um, I do eat meat. Uh, I pretty much when we do burgers, I do um, turkey burgers. So I guess my experience will be kind of comparing it to that. But all right, so that is out of the container. It is. Freaky feeling. Kind of smells like cat food. So that's... <laughs> that's not appetizing. Um, I read that there was a second version of Beyond Burgers. I don't know if that this ground meat is that or not, but I never had the first one, so I couldn't tell you any difference. So um, I'm just going to do a little basic uh, burger here. I'm just going to throw a little salt and pepper. We're going to patty it up and throw it, it's raining out today, so I'm going to throw it on the George Foreman, I have a gas grill, so it's not like the flavor difference, and I'm going to do the smash burger on the um, skillet back there. Yeah, I'm just going to do salt and pepper, um, don't need an egg, it's not a meatloaf, don't need uh, onions and whatnot, that can go on the bun. I will say I did kind of cheap out and got, not cheap out, but I didn't feel like going to the store. Um, I just have potato rolls, which is what we normally do, but I'm not going to do the bun brioche roll or bun or anything like that. 
And uh, just going to keep it simple. We're just going to do a cheeseburger. Um, I'll try, of course, the patty by itself. And uh, we'll throw some uh, lettuce and ketchup and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> it's really not, does not feel like meat at all. It's pretty unappetizing just to touch it. But here we go. Let's toss this bad boy on the foreman. Okay, smash burger time. I hear you just toss it on. And smash. <laughs> Sticks up, oh, that's not good. Well that would be probably because it's a plant-based burger. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just piece that back together. Okay, the burgers are cooked, and they look pretty good. Uh, much better, again, than when um, they were raw, as you would say. Uh, I am a ketchup man on the burgers. Toss that on. Some lettuce. Got a mini tomato here from our house. Toss that bad boy on. Who doesn't like tomatoes on a burger? Little guy, though. No blood loss. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. And then top it off with a nice slice of lettuce. So let's move this out into the sampling area. Let's see how these are. Now, as you'll, you can tell, I don't have a comparison because it's a burger. Everybody knows what a burger tastes like. All right. Let's take these out. Okay. Here we are. Let's try these out. So uh, normal burger, normal burger looking burger here um, and the smash burger over here the one thing about this uh, plant-based meat is you never know when it's like actually cooked um, I don't know if the same like pressure tests work with it or not but whatever the smash burger cooks in like five seconds that's it um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the normal burger here I'm gonna take a normal bite oh wow that's phenomenal Try some of the meat by itself. And again, didn't cook it that long. I think it's a normal time, but it's hard to say if it's actually done or not, but I guess you're not gonna get salmonella. So just a normal piece, I mean, it looks, if you're looking at that, I mean, that's, that's really close to a normal burger, you know, like, hard to tell. Oh my God. If this isn't the, the second iteration, wow, I'm gonna be blown away with that one. This is actually amazing. Mmm. I would be hard to tell. I mean, alright. So it doesn't, again, I don't have beef burgers that much. It doesn't have, like, the full flavor that beef does. But, my God, compared to a turkey burger, this is even better. This is better. It's better. Um, smash burger. People seem to like these nowadays, though, with the crispy ends and whatnot. I'm um, not a huge fan, but hey, I love burgers. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Um, with the smash burger, it's not, I mean, the edges are crispy, which is, I guess is what people like. Um, I like a thicker burger, but my lord, this is good. Mm. A little hard to see the the actual meat on this one. Is it so, so skinny? But I'm gonna look at show you this one again because it's just it looks like real beef, and I'm telling you, it tastes phenomenal. I I would have this over turkey burgers any day if it was cheaper. But wow, beyond meat, they killed it. So comparing it to the Impossible Whopper, it's hard to compare because that's a Whopper. It's fast food. It's a thin patty. It's flame grilled, so it had a little bit more flavor that way, but this texture, um, meat-like consistency, everything, blows the Impossible Whopper out of the water. Like, it's not even close. This is, this is incredible. Wow. Glad they had it, because I'm glad I got to try it. Uh, I'm going to wash this down with uh, 
it's this do call pumpkin spice. It's pretty much fall now, so why the hell not? Stew Claw Bro Brewing in Baltimore, Maryland. It's one of my favorites. Um, so, cheers, everyone. I'm actually going to knock out both of these burgers. That's how good this is. Uh, probably going to use the rest of the stuff um, just to cook up some crumble and throw it in with some other food. But, my goodness, if you have this at your local store, get it. Try it. It's incredible. I'm curious to see if it would be good with like an, as a meatloaf or something like that, but as a straight up burger, this, whew, this is my best um, best thing I've reviewed yet. Great job, Beyond Burger. Right, well, thanks again for watching. Um, this was a little bit different format with the vlog um, intro and then the car and stuff like that. Um, if you want to see some more stuff about the car, if you want me to um, review any other foods, uh, comment down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for when the next video is available. Have a good one.